Hello, DNN viewers. This is uh, Nikki Knockout, currently known here on out as uh, Nikki No Knickers. Nikki has lost two pair of knickers today. <laughs> Don't ask, it's a long story. But uh, welcome to the game. We are very, very, very excited to be uh, boutcasting on DNN for the first time an uh, interleague game has ever been broadcast from Australia. So we are so pumped. I have Penergy sitting next to me here doing the uh, text casting. So feel free to forge your questions and uh, we will give you shout outs over the microphone. Dave doing the amp up for the crowd. A massive cheer for everyone here to watch Roller Derby tonight. And Nikki, there's still so many people out the door waiting to come in. There is. I think we've still got over a thousand people lined up outside the venue. So we are looking at a massive, massive crowd for uh, Australian Roller Derby tonight. And uh, who the hell wouldn't want to come to see the rematch of the year with the Victorian Roller Derby League taking on the Sun State Roller Girls? The referees are out on the track. VRDL, welcome to the track. Tonight for Victoria, we have number two, Smash and Pop. Number three, Jilly Pepper. Number four, Calamity Main. Number eight, Kitty Von Crusher. Number 12, Berserker. Number 18, Miss Shivers. 28, Nightmare. 45, Skatebush. 69, Hot Rod Stacy. Number 77, Rocky Road. Number 138, my favorite name to say on the microphone, Swish Caraboom. Number 3121, Belle de Bois. 8008, Splatterpus. XO, XO, the team captain, Kitty Decapitate. And of course, on the bench for Victoria tonight, Toxic Judy uh, as the alternate and uh, Jermaine Spear as the second bench manager. And we welcome Victoria to the track. Us Queenslanders are super excited uh, that they've finally made the trip up here and uh, to come visit us up in sunny Queensland. Have we had them up here at all, Nikki? No. The first time uh, Sun State Roller Girls played Victoria was in uh, 2009 yep. and uh, Sun State travelled down to Victoria. That's right. Oh, Ajax. Ajax and I can hardly hear each other over the amazing crowd. It is so noisy in here. So uh, forgive us if we occasionally talk over the top of each other because it is very hard to hear. Let us know. So, doing, uh, looks like they're about to do safety check. I actually think Ajax we're going to throw to... Uh, a demo on our big screen, oh, which awesome. uh, I'm not sure if the cameraman will catch. You might be able to see it uh, at the bottom of the screen. So, got the Hammer City Roller Girls demo. 
a bit of footage there from our helmet cam. Tonight we've got uh, a couple of stationary cams uh, feeding live into DNN and we also have uh, one of the refs with our helmet cam. So they're just going over packs. What else have we got? Lockers. Energy's just pointed out to us that uh, there's a little bit of a poll uh, being run at the moment of uh, who thinks which team is going to win, and it is dead even. You DNN watchers uh, are split right down the middle, 50-50, as to who you think will uh, pull out the win for this game. Time for the safety check. At the moment uh, on the screen you can just see the Sun State bench. Victoria just off to the right of the screen. This is it, Ajax. This is it. The epic rematch. At last. <laughs> I know. At last. I know. As we were saying before, this is the third time that uh, Victoria and Sun State have met on the track. Yes. The first time uh, being Sun State travelling down to Victoria in uh, 2009. And then, of course, last year um, in the grand final of the Great, Great Southern, Southern Slam. Slam. Yeah, and uh, both games were super, super close. I believe um, the, there was only about eight or nine points difference in the first game um, yep. that we played. I know there's probably someone out there who knows the official score. I'm talking from my pants, of course. Yeah, I can't remember. But, uh, and, of course, the grand final at the Great Southern Slam being a difference of only two points, and that came down to the very last jam. Last 30 seconds. That's points. it. So we are pretty pumped for a close game tonight. We certainly are. And the safety check's nearly finished. So we're going to get on the track real soon. VRDL getting quite a big cheer from the crowd. That's yeah, fabulous. That's awesome. Who would want to come to Queensland? I know. Deafening roar. Yeah. A deafening roar for Sun State. Huge. Oh, big hello to our Rice Rocket who is over there with some girls watching from Texas. We can't wait for uh, you girls to come and uh, visit us out here in Australia. Yes. So hello to all our viewers from America. America. I hope my accent covers Sheila's Struth Stone the blue, the Bloody Crows doesn't uh, <laughs> confuse you too much. <laughs> All right, we're lighting up. We've got Maserati, Lady Killer, Christy Demons and Slaughter Daughter as blockers and Cookie Cutter is Gemma. So, we have Kitty Von Crusher lining up on the jammer line for uh, Victoria. Both of these girls have met several time, uh, times on the track before. I actually have uh, some interesting stats here from the last uh, game they played at the Great Southern Slam. Uh, the last time Cookie uh, Cutter actually jammed, um, I think did Kitty Capitate, this might be the first time that uh, Cookie Cutter has jammed against Kitty Von Crusher. Here we go. 
that pack off to quite a slow go. start. Oh, jam's gone. Jammers are off. Cook is taking the outside. Cook is taking the outside. Kitty Von Crusher uh, looking for some assistance. Has lead. And she's about a half a track ahead. Christy Demons doing a great job yes. there of uh, keeping Kitty Von Crusher at bay. Kitty's through now. And Cookie's at the back of the pack. The Victorians forming uh, a beautiful wall up the front there. We know uh, from past experience that the Victorians are fabulous at uh, keeping yeah. pace right at the front of Cookies the pack there. The jam off. Cookies caught two. All that work for uh, two points on the board for Sun State. Victoria yet to score, but only one jam in. Anything can happen. Got an uh, official timeout, Nikki. An official timeout being called. We see a uh, swish caraboom up on the track. I can tell you that uh, the last time we played each other, Rose Ruin actually um, jammed against uh, swish caraboom and. Uh, Swish uh, got up one point on Rose Ruin. Both teams fielding some uh, unseen players tonight. Yes. Um, I think there's been some movement amongst the teams. I certainly know uh, Sun State has had some really amazing up and coming skaters uh, be placed onto the travel team, as Definitely. has Victoria. Where we're looking, swish, Caraboom to the front. Rose is coming up through the pack now. Rose Ruin coming up to the front of the pack. Oh, big block some, out. Some big blocks for Rose Ruin there. the bin for uh, back blocking. Yep, Rose Ruin. And BRDL are holding Rose back really fantastically. And uh, a big play from uh, Sun State there, trapping a couple of the Victorian players yep. just to control that pack a little bit. Rose has come back through the pack. Knocked down. Rose Ruin met uh, rocky Road uh, there. The Rocky Road wasn't letting her go through. And Rose has pulled it off. I think uh, Rosie called knowing that uh, the Victorians had a great control over that pack. Did have a good control over that pack. We, we see another official timeout being called. Team captain uh, Kitty Von Kitty decapitate, sorry, uh, approaching the head referee. And uh, we've had a shout out for Rowan to vote from Adelaide Roller Derby from Dean Juria. And of course, uh, Big thanks to the wonderful guys down there at Adelaide Roller Derby for lending us a ref for the night. Now, now Sun State. Okay. We've had um, an official... What's going on here? That's all right. Rose has called off the jam when she wasn't lead jammer. So I think Rose is going to go to the box, which means that... We're not going to have a jammer on because we'll have two jammers in the box. So VRDL will go straight in. The 
soon as the whistle blows. Okay, so there's no jammer starting. We have uh, for Victoria Berserker, Splatterpuss, uh, Night Mary, and I believe Miss Shivers out there on the track for Victoria. With uh, Oh, what's up? <laughs> the VRDL jammer just went on before the whistle. She's gone back to the box. That right, just jam. shows how keen she is to get yeah. back on the track. <laughs> she has the jammer's on, VRDL's coming in from the box. Now there's a three wall, three wall at the front from SSRG holding off their jammer. Awesome, XL, big block. Oh, and Swish is through. She is. She took on those Sunday players one at a time. Sunday have moved up the front. Going into what we call a run. Two players for Swish to pass. Little Polly Crackers, she's one of the... Uh, Newer members of Sun State Roller Girls, but she has been such a fast mover. Oh, big block there by Felderbrill and Nightmare. Both on their feet, though. Rose is back on the track, and she's made her first pass. She just snuck right out there, didn't she, She Rosie? did. She did. And Swish is sort Skate of caught in. Skatebush still fighting. The two minutes up. So we've got SSRG4, the RDL8. Christy Demons is up next for SSRG, and we've got Kitty Von Crusher for the RDL jamming. So, the girls are looking really serious. Kitty Von Crusher and uh, Christy Demons out there. Both very nimble skaters. I think this game tonight is going to come down to um, pack work. I think both teams have got jammers that are just as strong as each other. If you have a look at the stats, uh, the jammer stats from both yeah. leagues, um, they're so very close. So tonight I think we'll come down to pack work and who spends the least time in the penalty box. Definitely, Nikki, totally agree with you there. And it's going to be uh, who plays the better offense, defense at the time that'll pull each jam. Christie's just got through. And Kitty will call, of course, before Demons gets back to the pack. So SSRG is starting with only three blockers on. Maserati's in the box. And we have uh, number 18, Miss Shivers, lining up against Lady Killer. That's right. Okay, here we go. There's a three wall of, of VRDL at the back. VRDL are through. Miss Shivers is through. So is Lady Killer. God, I'm so excited. I feel like I can, ha I can hardly breathe. <laughs> Jam's been called off. No points scored. Much anticipation. And uh, everybody drink. <laughs> we hope that you're all playing the drinking game at home. You might see the beer squad at the back of the screen chop, there chop. doing the arm motions for Chop Chop. Of course, lined up on the jammer line against a Swish Caribou out there again. That's right. Chop Chop is a hugely popular skater for SSRG. You can just see the crowd doing their little Chop Chop motion with their hands. Uh, Swish looks like she's going through. Veldebrol, oh, big ball. Maserati. That 
that was uh, Belle de Brawl out there with a the yeah. peacock to swish. Both jammers out at the same time. Someone just pulled a no pass, no point. No penalty, sorry. No points in that jam. I think we're going to see a lot of jams like that in this game. I think so, Nikki. Okay, so we've got Sweet Enemy on the line. This is uh, her first game for uh, SSRG. This is exciting for us. Sure is. Noticeably, uh, Sweet Enemy and Belle de Brawl, recent transfers from uh, Northern Brisbane Rollers. Kate Bush from the RDL. We have Skate Bush out there yeah. jamming for Victoria. The pack very tight. Sweetie still stuck. So we've got XL from SSRG going to the front. front. I believe a couple oh. of Victorian players are uh, being sent to the bin for tripping. Sweetie is through the pack. Skatebush is coming up to the back of the pack now. It's all up to those lonely oh. two uh, Sunset blockers out there. Girls. Smart play by VRDL, pulling it off before uh, Sweetie could get through. The cookie cutter is on jamming for SSRG. And uh, we have Kitty Bond Crusher out there for Victoria. The same lineup as in the first jam. We've got two blockers for SSRG, uh, Demons and Lady Killer. And uh, from the stats from the last game last year, we have uh, Cookie and Kitty um, met twice. Uh, on the track uh, last time, and Cookie managed to get uh, eight Jenkins. points above uh, Kitty Von Crusher when they met last. But of course, Kitty Von Crusher being such a strong player for uh, VRDL, um, at last time, from the stats from the last game, Kitty scored. Oh, you should just see that! Christine Demons had a Vinny Kitty for oh, three quarters of a lap. That was fantastic. and. As a result, we've got Cookie Cutter and Lee. I'm having a great time with some of these fanatical fans in the crowd. I've seen some great signs. I've also seen a couple of <laughs> people in the crowd that are wearing helmets. <laughs> Where are they? A couple of guys it. just here in front of our commentators booth have actually got <laughs> helmets on. Yes, they're wearing <laughs> helmets. Not sure why, Nikki. <laughs> I also saw someone waving a sign before that said, the person behind me can't see. <laughs> so we've got Rose Ruin jamming and Kitty Decapitate for Victoria. One to the outside, one to the one inside. To the outside. Oh. Both are through. So Kitty kind of looks like she's doing a defensive jam. She's looking back at Rosie a fair bit. Definitely. Kitty, decap Kitty uh, von Decapitate, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to get those two confused I know. all night, I Two think. kitties. <laughs> Lead jammer to Kitty Decapitate. They're both coming up to the back of the pack now. The RDL was stretching, are bridging out back. All four jammers have bridged out. And... Kitty Decapitate's asking her bench what to do. She's actually... That's really... Kitty Decapitate using that uh, truck and trailer move. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think um, the Victorian girls spent some time with uh, some of the Charm City roller girls uh, earlier in the year. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Charm City uh, girls being pretty well known for the truck and trailer move. Exactly. And uh, we've seen Victoria use that quite a bit already tonight. Yeah. But that was... Purely defensive jam from VRDL. And we have the first jam ever on a travel team for Polly Crackers. Now watch Polly Crackers, she's a little pocket rocket. I can't quite catch the numbers. Oh, it's Skate Bush for Victoria. And Polly's let Skate Bush go through first, but she's hot on her tail. 
Here she comes, working through the pack. Oh, little Polly takes a trip. Oh, oh and skate 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 to the three. outside. Oh, big hit there. Excel got in. knocked out. There is some big blocks out there tonight. Yeah. Some of the girls taking some huge hits. Berserk just uh, with a great hit on uh, XL, number 40. And Belle did a nice big hit on uh, Skate Bush then. Uh, jams called off. And she calls before Polly had a chance to get to the back of the pack. Not sure if we uh, will get much of a score change there. We have eight for SSRG and 16 for VRDL at the moment. Lady Killer up for SSRG jamming next. And Kitty Decapitate for VRDL. Kitty Decapitate, Victoria up against Lady Killer. Now, Kitty Von Crusher, um, she must have three minors. She's uh, prudling, so she's going to be pulling her fourth, going straight to the box. Yep, she's just been called off. She's gone to the box. So. We've got Lady Killer takes the inside line. She's got lead. And we've got Kitty Decapitates at the back of the pack. And they're trying to push her through. Nice. Sweetie, Sweetie's just shut her down. No. And Lady Killer goes through. Jam a lap point. Got a two wall at the front. Scully's hitting. Oh, oh big buck must oh, have had her out there. <laughs> Lady's just been blocked out. I think we have our Lady Killer with the lead jammer. She's clocking out those points. Yeah, she's got jammer lap point, Nikki. A couple of huge hits out there. And, and Lady calls. Five point jam. I hope we stocked up the after party eskies with a lot of ice. <laughs> I think the girls are going to need a few bags on their butts tonight. I think so. And we see the scores evened. 18 points apiece. This is a game. It is going to be one of those games I am covered in goosebumps. Yes. It's it is so exciting. exciting. I wish all of you guys at home could feel the energy in this room. It is so crazy in here. Skatebush for Victoria. So and chop, chop Chop out there for Sun State. Choppers. Oh, she's just got blocked out. She's back in. There we go. Oh, Choppers is through. Skatebush. Skatebush still stuck inside that pack. Oh, Christy Demons. And Choppers is at the back of the pack. Oh, nice block. Chop, oh, chop. she's through. Oh. Four and call, four and call. Chop, chop. 22, 18. SSRG. This is going to be and a backwards and forwards game. I can already feel it. So we've got a timeout. Timeout being yeah. called. VRDL called that one. If you can see the huddles uh, on your screen, the Victorian team impact in even closer than Sun State. We are having such a good time. <laughs> and uh, we couldn't have done it without some awesome sponsors. I'd like to give a big shout out to Digi Roller Skating Rink. Um, that's our, actually our home training venue for the Sun State Roller Girls. And uh, they've played a pivotal part in supporting our league to become what we have today, including um, sponsorship of our travel team costs, yeah. uh, which is amazing. And uh, the Gem Hotel, for our Gem Hotel. party there. They pay us to party. They Hello. do. <laughs> All roller derby leagues need a pub that pay them to party. After every bout, we go to the Gem Hotel and they put it on for us. <laughs> That's a sponsorship arrangement that I'm not sure they knew what they were getting into when they signed that one, Ajax. <laughs> we have got Kitty Decapitate and uh, Rose Ruin out there on the track for jamming. Yep. We have three blockers apiece on the track. And we have some big blockers on the track. Lady Killer, Scully, 
Berserker. Both teams with player one player each in the sim bin. Spit slippery on oh, that. Oh, a big sandwich two. out there for Kenny oh. Decapitate. The RDL got lead. Rose Ruins not far behind, Obo. And as you might have heard, Dave just say punishing blocks. We have only two blockers left on the track for Victoria. And yet, she somehow slipped right past. She did. Oh, oh a track up. wreck. Called off just as the big stack happens. We see. And, and Rosie, Rosie looks like she's clearing the jammer points. She, she's thinking she's getting two. I think that they've been added onto the board. We now have 26 to 22. Sun State just sneaking out in front. We only have 12 minutes left on the clock. This first half has gone so oh, fast. It does. It always does go fast though, doesn't it? Unbelievable. Kitty Von Crusher for Victoria. And Polly Cracker. <laughs> for SSRG. Oh, oh, oh Polly! Polly! Inside. Kitty Decapitate stuck behind XL and Belle de Brawl and Christy Demons. That is not a pack of blockers that I would want to be stuck behind any time, Ajax. Oh, no. They've not done a all. great job at holding her back. Oh, Polly's Polly just... trying to push her way through. Berserker moves straight to the front of the pack. Who's someone's just... Oh! What have we got, Nikki? A power jam! Woohoo! Actually, I promised Ajax that I would uh, channel, oh, some of, channel some of our dump truck tonight. Dump truck. Of course, being my favourite DNN announcer. I love you, Dumpy. It's true, she does. <laughs> so I promised I'd pull out a p -p 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 power jam, but not quite as sexy as Soul Dump Truck, hey? Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> you're going to do it some more because you're going to do it right now, Nikki. And we have one blocker on the track for Victoria. And a full team for Sun State Roller Girls. This is a chance for the Sun State Roller Girls to really put a good lead out there. There is only one blocker on the track. Two blockers for VRDL. We've got Kitty Decapitate. Calamity Main back on the track as well from the Simbi. The, the pack stopped it. No, they're creeping forward, creeping forward. Cookie for her second lap. Those Victorian girls have got a job on their hands. The SSRG are goating. They've, they've slowed the pack down to Slaughter the Daughter doing her best pace. to trap Cookie. Okay, we got SSRG Two. doing pack pace. Pack pace. Cookie cut it out there. Cookie's got a lot of fans in this crowd tonight. She does. She has a big following. So, yeah, Calamity Jane just went off for a fourth and we minor. See the Victorians back out on the track. Cookie Cutter getting the uh, keep going signal from the coach. Of course, the Victorian jammer not having made her initial pass. So I think Cookie's got to get one and call by the looks of what it. Mark was saying. Because we've got three, four and three, the RDL three blockers. Yep, she's called. Look at the points, Nikki! 45 for Sun State Roller Girls, 22 for Victoria. Cookie Cutter putting some major points on that track. Track? I don't know what I'm talking about. So, Nikki, I know you like saying Swish's name. Swish Caraboom is actually probably one of my most favourite names to say on the microphone. I also like uh, one of the Sun State Girls, it's called Oh Hell No! And uh, every time she comes on the track at home games, of course, I can't just say, oh, hell no. It has to be my best interpretation of, oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, so Swish is out Swish, the Swish, Caraboom, out in front of the pack with Lee Jammer. 
Lady Killer jamming for Sun State Roller Girls. Oh, XL, big, big hit then. So, oh, Lady really Killer tight, still trying to there. get through. Beautiful defense by VRDL. Beautiful. And Swish has actually just come up the back of Lady Killer and passed her. Lady Killer oh, makes her way through. Go, Lady. I imagine Swish will keep skating knowing that uh, Lady Killer is only on her initial pass. So Swish actually just put a pretty big block on Lady Killer and has gone completely defense. Oh, this is going to be a hard jam, Nikki, to do that one. That's it. Well done to uh, Swish Caraboom there with a grand slam. Jam a lap Victoria. point, Nikki. Jam a lap point. <laughs> that grand slam sounds so much better than jam a lap, lap point, point. Don't you think? I, I'm, I'm with you. Come on, as a as as a regular commentator, I enjoy the grand slam, slam. a little bit more. So, sweetie, sweet enemy. Jamming for SSRG. And skate push for VRDLs. Sweetie's doing a defensive jam. She's holding off skate push. And we've got three blockers for SSRG and four for VRDL. We have a two wall with a sweeper for VRDL. But Christy Demons is coming up the front to clear up that wall. And Sweetie's at the back of the pipe. What? And she's still defensive jamming. Some jammer on, jammer blocking. Skate Bush is. Skate Bush through. made a break for it and she's through. Oh, Skate Bush got through. That was brilliant. And Sweetie is still at the back of the pack. She's uh, getting through now. Kitty Decapitate is holding her off. Oh, it's Flatterpuss is now holding her off. And they're bridging back to, to keep blocking Sweet Enemy. Skate Bush is at the back of the pack. Oh, she got knocked down by Scully. Oh, okay. And Sweet, Sweetie still hasn't got through. So this is going to be another grand slam if Skate Bush can get through, but we've got... Yeah, Skate's got through, grand slam. Oh, Sweetie just got through too. Pump it, ladies, pump it. So Skate's doing that uh, truck trailer to get through again. Kate Bush doing an awesome job of closing that score gap. That was a fantastic jam. 45 to Sun State, 34 to Victoria. Victoria closing down that gap. Yeah. We have got Kitty Von Crusher and Chop Chop lining chop, up at chop, the jammer chop, line. Chop Chop. You start here in the Chop Chop in the background. Both teams. And oh, with, we've got, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> lining up. Both teams with full blockers. And we've got Berserker. Berserker is renowned for her big hits. So I want to see Oh Hell No and Berserker go at it. <laughs> She's a phenomenal player to watch. Oh! Chop is through with lead. Chop Chop first one through, no. but uh, Kitty Von Crusher with lead jammer status. Yeah, so Chop is in lead. Nope. So Chop is just knocking Kitty as much as she can. I imagine Kitty might call this. There she goes. Yeah. The one thing I've always loved about Sun State have always had this really brilliant relationship with the Victorian Roller Derby League. I think because our, our leagues are so uh, closely matched that we drive each other to be better all the time. It's so true, so true. It's, um, it's a really healthy, healthy competition between the two of us. Now we've got an official timeout. We've got BRDL in the middle. 
so. Nikki, did you see why that official timeout was called? No, I missed that one. But I, I think if we listen, we actually have a roaming commentator down on the floor to uh, tell us what happened with the official timeout. So if we, if the crowd is quiet enough, we might actually be able to hear what she says. We'll be lucky. <laughs> Mark, the uh, coach from SSRG, who's also the alternate, is on the track talking to the girls in the next lineup. And Fiatiel are actually having a bit of a discussion on the side of the track. And I can see Toxic Judy's actually reapplying numbers. Wow. Did, uh, did you see which team actually called the timeout here? The RDL. The RDL did. Yeah. Of course, uh, okay, let's hear what Hula has to say. Let's see what I believe that uh, VRDL called a timeout questioning a, questioning a major call yep. uh, in that it should have been a minor. But I think the uh, call stood. By the looks of things, it has, yeah. There's still some discussion going on about it, though. Okay. Okay, so the next lineup, we've got Rose Ruin jamming and Kitty Decapitate for VRDL jamming. We have four blockers on four blockers. Here we go. Roses looks like she's coming through. The plaque's a little split. Oh, she took the outside. So SSRG had the lead. But Kitty, Kitty is on her tail. Oh, it's actually Skate Bush, sorry. Skate Bush is on her tail, jamming for VRDL. Yeah, Victoria are bridging out front to speed up the pack. Polly Crackers has gone in to pick off one and has just slowed that pack down. But Rose has actually called it off. So, did she get, that's a 0-0 zero, zero jam. So. Swish Kaboom for VRDL. And Chop Chop for SSRG jamming. Again, four and four blockers. So this should be a good jam. Some big blockers on from both teams. Yeah, switch on the line. I'm back. What did I miss? 46 to Sunset and 34 VRDL. Oh, track trailer again, Nikki. Oh. A beautiful wall. Oh, did they shut down Chop Chops then? They pushed her right to that inside line. So Swish is through. Choppers is still trying to get through. And Calamity Jane's just holding her off out the front there, but Chop's through. Chop Chop do what you got to Swish Caraboom still out there trying to make it pass. I think she called because uh, there was a couple of uh, Sunset blockers there that she couldn't get past. That's right. Both benches are looking quite serious at the moment, Nikki. Aren't they ever? <laughs> We have Kitty Von Crusher and Cookie Cutter yep. up on the jammer line. Sunstate starting a blocker down. Yeah. We've got Splatterpuss and Berserker out for VRDL big hitters. But then they've also got for SSRG, Maserati and oh hell no. Maserati with a last attempt block on Kitty Von Crusher. 
Victorian wall at the front of the pack there seems impenetrable. Yeah. Kitty sees that uh, Cookie Cutter is stuck behind Kitty Decapitate and oh. Smash and Pop, I believe, up the front there with Kitty. Kitty's coming around again. That I think uh, Kitty might well even up the scores. If not, put Victoria back in the front at half time. Oh, Kitty's uh, going around again. She indicated to her bench. The RDL in front by two points. Two points. We've had to jam a lap point. No, what is it? Grand Slam! Belgian Pearls just holding off Kitty there. Oh, 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 star pass! Oh, she dropped the hat! Lady Killer tries for a star pass, but she drops the cover. And I don't think she realizes it. Oh, we've lost a pivot penny as well, so she's in a legend ball to put it on. She picks it up oh, as she skates past. <laughs> Belle de Brawl with a huge block. 53 points for VRDL, 46 to Sunset. Holy cow, Kitty Von Crusher with a massive, massive jam. jam. It just shows you one jam can change a game. Absolutely, and I think uh, in the second half we're probably going to see some more yep. score changes. I that was so. so exciting. We are so privileged to be able to see these two teams skate tonight. Half time. Half time. We'll be back in 15.
think Ajax and I are back on the mics. We got some feedback um, that the mics are a little screwy, so we're going to try and play with the sound so that my voice isn't so annoying. And, and, and you can actually hear me, I believe. <laughs> There's a few issues. So both teams are back out on their bench now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, safety check for SSRG. Feel free to uh, post some feedback into the uh, thread there to Penergy as well if you think our mics need to go up or down. I'm Nikki, I'm the one with the really loud voice and uh, Ajax with the much nicer, girlier voice. Thank you, Nikki. And if you hear childish squealing in the background, that's probably Penergy who's uh, just sitting here. <laughs> she, she's highly excitable, but very much fun. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the first lineup. We've got Belle de Brawl is wearing the pivot cap. We've got Sweetie jamming for SSRG, Kitty Von Crusher for VRDL, and we have Christy Jemans on four, three minus. She is poodling to pick up her fourth, so she's going to go straight to the bin. I've got the floppiest mic stand, it's so annoying. Mine's nice and firm. <laughs> it looks like uh, Christy Demons uh, so taking a poodle up the back there. Okay, so Christy Demons has gone straight to the bin. <laughs> and the block has dragged out the start there. The, uh, the refs called the jam whistle. Sweetie, cookie cutter. Sweet enemy, I my bad. So Kitty Von Crusher still trying to get oh Belle de Brawl, big hit on Kitty Von Crusher. But she's gone to the bin. Oh a big wall of okay, victorians there for our sweet enemy to pass. Berserker, so easy to spot out on the track. So and Sweetie Cole just couldn't get past. Yep. I think that was a scoreless jam, that one. Uh, that two points, Snicky. <laughs> so we've got Polly Cracker and Swish Caraboom on the jammer line. We've got two SSRG blockers in the box. Swish, Caraboom on the line for we go. Victoria. Oh, straight through, Swish, Caraboom! Polly's gone through, oh my God, that's stepping! Little Polly's through. So Christy Demons come back from the box. With uh, Christy Demons, Chop Chop and Lizzery out there as blockers for the Sun State Roller Girls. Oh, who was that that just went into the side banner? That was uh, Christy Demons. Oh, she's a tough nut, that one. The jam call. That was a foreign call. So we've got Kitty Decapitate and Lady Killer. And ladies uh, trying to tell her blockers to do something. Slaughter Dot has come off. We've got Maserati poodling. Both got teams uh, with two blockers in the yeah. series. Kitty Decapitate and Lady Killer. This should be another fast one. Oh! 
So Kitty, Kitty absolutely flew through then. Oh, oh hell no, tries a big cross track block but just misses. Oh. And oh hell no, he's trying to do a couple of can Lady, openers. Lady Killer finally through. Oh, oh. Belta Bra oh. with a big block against oh. Kitty Decapitate. Yes. And of course, uh, those girls both being expats uh, who played for um, London Roller Girls and uh, Derby Wives. So. Yes. That was a big hit. <laughs> yeah. The next L's go into the box as well. So again, SSRG got two in the box, but so have uh, the RDL. Kitty, Von, Crusher and... Chop, 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 chop. SSRG 47, Victoria pulled ahead to 66. <laughs> the jam started. Again, with only two blockers from each team out there. Oh. Fantastic defense on both. both Someone's jammers. gonna. Both jammers stuck behind the opposing blockers. Both jammers now through. And Slaughter Daughter got an illegal procedure, got waved back from the box, so she's gone back on the track. The, the penalties are racking up now, Nikki. Think, uh, Slaughter daughter being sent for to the bin for a legal procedure. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But uh, the head ref came over to the bench and actually pulled her from the bench uh, into the bin. Miss Shivers for Victoria. Yes. And, and Holly Cracker for SSRG. Again, that, that box is getting filled up pretty quickly. Oh, little Polly Crackers makes a break oh. for it, but gets stuck behind a wall of Victoria. That was an absolutely beautiful play from VRDL. That three wall at the front held off Polly Cracker, but also enabled Shivers to get through from the outside. Looks like Miss Shivers going to be able to pop some more points on the board. So Shivers was going to call then. She wasn't sure if she was lead. She looked over at the ref exactly. and then she called it. But uh, notching another four points on the board for Victoria. We see the score sit at SSRG 47. BRDL for 73. Sweet enemy with Swish Caraboom. According to my stats uh, from Victoria, Swish Caraboom being uh, their best jammer. That their they best jammer. Uh, from the Great Southern Slam. And, sw and Swish is so fast off the line. You know that corner too? The girls are slipping on that a lot. It looks really, really slippy on that outside corner too. So Slaughter Dot has come back on. So we've got four blockers for SSRG. And three for VRDL. I think we've had a bit of a costume change for uh, I don't know if you can remember early in the game that I mentioned that there was a couple of guys in front of the commentators here that were wearing uh, roller derby helmets. Well, it seems that at a half time they went to visit uh, Skate Salvage out there in the merch stand and now all of them have come back in wearing uh, nothing more than derby skins. It's very attractive, very Nikki. attractive. Green, uh, green derby skin. Exactly, yeah. Giving Dump Truck a run for his money here with uh, yeah. some... They're not the orange ones he had at the no, Great Seven Slam. No, but and certainly not as you know high up there as what Dumpy wears. <laughs> Definitely either. not. I love your Dump Truck! <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Lady Killer out there jamming against... I can't quite, quite, can't quite make out the number. Skate Bush, Nikki. Skate Bush out there for Victoria. Yep, yep. Lady Killer looks for the outside. Oh, and Skate Bush takes skate the inside. inside. And that two wall at the front, bridging back. 
just controlling that jammer from the RDL, doing a really good job. That pack is moving so crazily out there. It's fast. Both teams look like they're trying to jostle for control of the front of the pack. Yeah, definitely, Nikki. And you know, both both leagues have been working absolutely crazily on their fitness. Because last year at the Slam, those packs were so fast. Incredible. That was one of the fastest games I've still seen yeah, to this that day. Yeah, was, was amazing. A little bit slower tonight. I think a little bit more um, pack work strategy being used definitely, tonight. Definitely strategic. Christy Demons out there with Kitty Bond Crusher. Sun State uh, blockers down to only two. A full blocking pack for the Victorian team. So we've got a really nice wall with VRDL and they've actually staggered it diagonally across the track, which is really effective to stop De Christy Demons getting through. SSRG did really well holding Kitty Von Crusher back there for as long as they did. Maserati moving a couple of players out of the way out there. Yeah, Chop Chop moving the rest. Um, and Christy's got through. Kitty Von Crusher just cruising her way through. Little old Chop Chop up the front there left on her own. And, and Calamity Main just got sent to the bin for a, uh, a, a high block. I mentioned earlier that I thought that this game might be won by the team that spends the least time in the penalty box and uh, so far Sun State not doing a very good job of that in the second half. Not at all, Nikki. I think uh, we're spending more time in the box than we would ideally like to. Polly Crackers and Kitty Decapitate. Two blockers apiece for each team. Oh! oh! A huge Berserker block. just laid the, the biggest block. No, a splatterpuss. Splatterpuss on Polly Crackers. But she's gone to the bin. She's been way back on, though. Okay. So SSRG are, are bridging out front. So stopping that VRDL player from scoring. So she's got around one. Oh, she's down though. Called the jam. Okay. So we've got Rose Ruin. And Skate Bush again on the jammer line. Hang on, no, we've got Sweetie. They've changed her over Sweetie. And Chop Chop's been put back in the bin. Yeah, I think she accumulated four uh, penalties in that jam. Yeah. So she's uh, pulled from the box, uh, the, yeah. bin into the, the team yeah. bench into the bin. Yep. And SSRG have just called a timeout. I think the girls need to take some time to recoup at this stage. <laughs> I think the Sunday so. girls are... Um, they need to really get their heads in the game at this point. I think that Victoria have got the edge on them as far as playing that mental game out there at the moment. Yeah, definitely. And I suppose being almost 36-ish points in front. Yep. Now we've got... My, my maths is bad, so don't, don't hold me to my correcting my maths. 38 points. Well, with an update. So it, it looks like Sun State out there questioning that fourth minor that um, Slaughter Dollar accumulated there. But it seems like all was well. So again, so Sweetie and Skate Bush as jammers. And, and Skid, Sweetie likes to be quite intimidating on the line. And she's taking it. And Rocky Road starting further back. And it looks like that tactic working well for them up to this point. Oh. Oh. And Sweetie is through. She's got laid. And the crowd goes crazy. 
It might be just a swinging momentum that uh, the team needs. Both teams now down to only two blockers apiece. And we've got four blockers in the bin. Truck and trailer. That's that truck and trailer move that Victoria. Oh, uh, but Bell, Bell cleared it out. XL. XL was trying to break that truck and trailer up. That's it's it, but uh, the RDLs, Gemma, back on the track and round there quick, quicker than they knew. Yep. Couple of points on the board for SSRG. We see 34 points the difference to VRDL. Yeah, 34 points difference. Oh, those men in the green pants, oh. the greens. Oh, we've got some jungle catch <laughs> leopard skins on a male walking down. Making their way in here now. <laughs> 17 and a half minutes on the clock. Lady Killer and Kitty Von Crusher. Now, Kitty's not doing her normal Lady stuff. Lady Killer takes the lead. Oh. Kitty Von Crusher, or Kitty Decapitate to the bin, leaving only two blockers on the track for Victoria. Three State for controlling SSRG. the pack with that goat. Lady Killer is through and oh. calls. We have an amazing ref crew here tonight. We're very we lucky. Do. We have uh, three refs from uh, Sunstate and three from Victoria, and of course Rowan from Adelaide. Yep. And I'm pretty proud to say that I think we've got the best refs in the country. I'm here with At this game. Tonight. Definitely, Nikki. Official now, timeout being called. Yeah. I now, imagine by Toxic Jude from oh, Victoria. Berserk and laid a massive hit on Lady Killer, and I don't think the beer yeah. squad appreciated and it. And I think it was uh, a block that happened pretty simultaneously with the whistle as well. So yeah. the beer squad out there making a lot of noise. <laughs> I wish you guys could hear the noise in this place. <laughs> It looks it like Berserker actually being sent to the bin. No, no, she's getting on the track. No, no she's to the bin. Yep, she's in the bin. So we can't again. Skatebush, Rocky Skate Rogue. Bush. Yep, Rocky Rogue are uh, standing in the uh, sin bin. So I imagine it's not long before they're back out on the track. Rose Ruin poodling for yep. her fourth. So we might see her jamming in the next couple of jams. And, and this is a really interesting start. We've got SSRG actually going to uh, force a non-pack situation so the jammers start straight away. Yes! And Demons has got lead! And Scully just knocked out Skatebush. Maserati left out there to defend the front of the pack. Maserati, my girl! <laughs> One woman blocking machine. Christy, Christy Demon still just making her way through. Maserati clears the way for her. Quick points and calls. Four. Maserati also playing her first travel team game with uh, Sun State Roller Girls. And she only started bouncing with us last year, so yeah, we've got some I, skills. Yeah, I think this is only her fourth game ever. Yep. We have the amazing Swish Caribou and a Miss oh. Cookie Cutter. Rocky Rogue, the lonely blocker out there for Victoria. Oh, oh, Rocky Road with a big chase on Cookie. Cookie's got lead. Can you hear that crowd? Kitty decapitate. Oh, Kitty decapitate back on the track for Victoria. Both so teams is uh, with three Berserker. Come back Berserker on. Berserker as well. Have a look what's going on in the And Cookie calls. Another quick few points. Cookie got two and called. That's it. I think a bit of momentum here with Sun State. It doesn't take much for this amount of points to be uh, popped on the clock, popped on the scoreboard. So hopefully we see a bit more momentum here with Sun State. Yeah. VRDL calling a timeout here, I believe. 
Okay, Harry spot, Spotters uh, indicating that's to the bench. Uh, sorry, Ajax, that's right. three jams in a row that uh, the RDL have remained scoreless, so hopefully we can see Sun State continue this momentum. I think SSRG has slightly changed their, their strategy. They're going to play smart, yeah. score a couple of points and yep. call. So yep. more jams. Well, the Victorian team just playing so strongly tonight. Yeah, they so, are. So amazing to watch. Where I keep saying it, but we're so privileged to be able to uh, play these girls. We just absolutely adore what they do. And as we've said before, Victorian Roller Derby League pushed Sun State Roller Girls to be better and better all the time oh, we do we measure ourselves against them we Absolutely. really do and they measure themselves against us looks like a false start there for the blockers chop chop jamming against kitty von, kitty crusher. von crusher the b squad going mad chop chop comes out just in front but it's all going to come down to that pack and Kitty's, Kitty's hanging back. She's looking for the line. Kitty's looking for the hole. So is Chop oh. Chop. Oh. Chop has just got set for cutting the track, Major. Cutting the track. What is it, Nikki? Power Jam. <laughs> okay, so SSRG are trying to speed the pack and VRDL are trying to slow the pack. Okay, they've just picked off, the Adi have just picked off Belle de Brawl. The and Sun State they, players out of play, so they have yeah. to let uh, her through. Very smart play by the RDL. This is exactly what they want to do with their power jam situation. That's it, and we see uh, Kitty taking full advantage of this once again. Oh! And Kitty's got a beautiful skate form. Although she's looking a bit tired. She is. But uh, I guess it's up to her team out there to clear the way for her and they've done a fantastic job so far. Now Sweetie, Sweetie's um, bridging back. So they, uh, VRDL need to pick one off. And they've got Sweetie. So they've hit the skids and now our and girls are out of play. Kitty just pushes her way through. A lot of minor penalties being collected out there. Oh, Choppers is back on. And Kitty Von Crusher calls it, but an amazing jam. What a jam. Nine points, two, one hundred even. So the RDL power jam pulled ahead again. Pulled ahead again. 12 and a half minutes on the clock. The crowd is really getting fired up now. I know. So, so loud. <laughs> the commentators here at the arena doing a call out for the, uh, the leagues. Deafening. Rose Rowan through the pack with her signature cutting across the front. And Skate Bush is finding a bit more difficult. All right. So Rose is coming at the back of the pack in and we've got, oh, Rosie! Lizzie sent to the bin then for cutting the track. But uh, while the girls were distracted, Rosie called and clocked a few more points on the board. 63 to 100. Yep. So we've got Christy Demons jamming and Swish Caraboom jamming for the RDL. Two blockers in the bin for SSRG, one for the RDL. So again, not a full lineup. The Zerg is taken. Swish Sorry, Nikki. Boom and uh, Christy Demons out there. Both of them looking to the outside. Swish has lead. Christy's come through. She's powering through now. We might see a few quick points 
persuasion and a call here. Oh. Yep, there we go. So Swish is living up to her uh, jammer status. Uh, she's a force to be reckoned with out there, Ajax. She a is. real pleasure to watch. She's a jammer jammer. <laughs> Again, we've got. Who we got? Someone's got a timeout. Yeah, I think I believe that was uh, Coach Mark for the Sun State. Yep. And I assume Mark's got to pull the girls down, get them grounded, and start yeah. thinking about the game. I think our refs taking a well-needed drink out in the middle there. Yeah, they're working hard. We've got outside jammer refs. Just had a call out to the refs and they're doing a fantastic job. Chop, chop taking the line for uh, Sun State and it looks like Kitty Vaughan Crusher for Victoria. So Mark, Mark's out in the track, he's talking to Lady Killer and no hell no. We've just had our link drop out. Hang in there, guys. We may have lost our text feed just for a moment with a technical glitch, but we are hurrying to try and get that back up. Oh, oh, oh how no, with a big block to Kitty Bone Crusher. So Chop Chop is lead jammer. Lady Killer puts on a chase just to slow her down a bit. Oh hell no, the Choppers is talking to Oh hell no, telling her what she wants. Looks like she wants her to try and whip her through with a bit of momentum. There she goes. Oh, Choppers has gone to the bin. We have her. Power jab <laughs> for VRDL. It's really not what Sun State wanted at this stage. It was it's not what we want. Kitty Von Crusher, another power jam. We've only two blockers on the track. A three, my bad. Now Choppers went to the box for low blocking. I didn't see what happened. But we've got VRDL are trying to slow that pack down. And they've got Oh Hell No caught out the back. The, the pack is hardly moving. It's fantastic play by VRDL. Oh, she just took that inside line. So we've got three blockers on a piece, four blockers for SSRG. Lady Killer pops back on the track, giving them that extra blocker and just slows the momentum of Kitty. Kitty Von Crusher being sent to the bin. We've got Chop Chop making her way back onto the track. I promise I'll try and stop yelling. So jam's off now. It's exciting. So Rose ruin up jamming next. Got some SSRG are going to create no pack situation so the jammer can go straight through because we're in a power jam situation. The RDL are actually blocking that access for, uh, for Rosie to get through. Rosie counter blocked. Very nice. And SSRG have just turned the tables. They've slowed that pack down. Rose Ruin clocking up some points and the crowd is going crazy. So Scully's created that path for Rosie to go through. Oh, this is so exciting. This is what Roller Derby is about. Two best teams in Australia fighting it out. We've got some pack pace happening. So 
to Berserker. The pace of the pack just slowed stop. to a stop. Stop. Both jammers on now. Both jammers back on the track. Rose is called and off. Rosie falls. If they can just keep this momentum going, we will see that score closed. And Mark's got into the centre again. He's querying something. Mark from SSRG, their coach. Paul has gone in, so she'll be able to tell us what's going to happen in a minute. A whiteboard being waved at the announcers for a shout out for the Northern Rivers Rollers girls. We're actually very privileged that we have so many girls from so many leagues all over Queensland with us tonight. We've got uh, Northern New South Wales leagues here as well. Yep. All the way from Yamba and Cobbs Harbour and girls have travelled, you know, four and five hours to be here to support Sunset Roller Girls tonight. So the Roller Derby community really coming out in force. And of course, all the people that have travelled with um, Victoria all the way up here as well. So. Right. It certainly makes you proud to be a member of such an awesome thing happening here down under. It is in such a, an amazing community, the Roller Derby community in Australia, and we're so privileged to be a part of it. Next jam, we've got Sweet Enemy and Swish Caribou. So we've got SSRG 79, VRDL 119. Still anyone's game. Six minutes and 26 seconds to go. A very slow start to that pack out there. Oh. Swish looks for the inside. Demon takes the outside. Both jammers through at the same time. Kitty Von De decapitated some yep. sweet blocking there. Absolutely. And Sweet Enemy calls, of She's course, called it off. being out in front. So just some amazing blocking from both teams. Brilliant. Got Polly Crackers up for jamming for SSRG. And Skatebush, this is going to be a great one. Two phenomenal jammers on. Polly Two. just pushed out of bounds. Oh! Skatebush. Oh, beautiful! Choppers! We've just had some skate bushes taken, some huge, huge cross track blocks. So Polly Crackers is coming round. Wall of three out the front, knocks her out. And Polly, Polly quickly calls. Did she get, she got one, Nikki. One point. Yeah. But zero for the RDL. I think the score there actually put on the wrong team on the scoreboard. Whether anybody picks that up or not. <laughs> Both we did, Nikki. <laughs> There's more than us noticed it. Swish, Caraboom and Cookie Cutter. Both the top two scoring jammers from the yep. Great Southern Slam. Exactly. Swish to the outside. Cookie to the in. Stuck behind Berserker. Oh, so Cookie's going. Oh! Berserker just cross track Cookie Cutter. And she's at the back of the pack and Swish Caraboon's out in the front. No points, other team. Lady Killer and Skate Bush. The commentators just announcing uh, over the microphone that 
some of the neighbours in the uh, Canal Estate have uh, put in a complaint to uh, the police about the noise coming from the convention centre. Oh For those my of you <laughs> not familiar with the Gold Coast, the convention centre is actually located on uh, quite a ritzy part of the Gold Coast. It where, is. Uh, it is. There's lots of Canal Estates, and it seems like uh, we've been giving given our shush orders <laughs> from the pole pole. I'm not sure how we're going to manage that, Nikki, <laughs> but. <laughs> There's only uh, three minutes and 21 seconds remaining. So it Lady Killer. Such an interesting game. I know the scores, there's um, quite a big difference in the scores, but um, the game has certainly been anything but um, a whitewash. These oh, teams are so well matched with each other. It is. And we've got Penergy sitting next to us. She's getting very excited. She's telling the players what to do on the track. <laughs> Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. We're seeing a timeout here. So we've got... An uh, official timeout. We've got uh, two a, uh, Mexican wave trying to be started in the crowd. By the Fiatia okay. Shout out to the Cairns girls who are uh, up there in northern Queensland cheering us on from up there. I believe we've got some girls from Townsville up there watching DNN live as well. Roller Derby's really taken off in Queensland. I think uh, actually Queensland and Victoria have the most leagues um, in the state around the whole of Australia. They're just, the everyone wants to play roller derby. Whoa, hey! The Mexican wave just passed us. Lady Killer with only two blockers to pass. Oh, Lady Killer doing some excellent defensive jamming. She's got lead. Skate Bush right behind her. We might see a Lady Killer try to clock a quick couple of points and call this one. Totally agree with you there, Nikki. Yeah, she's she called. But I think uh, I think Skate's probably got either two or three. She's indicating to the refs that she wants points. So it's Toxic Judy. Because you, you still accumulate points until the fourth whistle blows. Chop Chop once again lining up against Kitty Von Crusher. Chop Chop calling for the crowd for more Chop Chop, chop action. Chop. The whole arena, I don't know if you can see There's the crowd on your screens at the moment, but the whole crowd doing the Chop Chop. Has an official timeout been called? Chop Chop calling for the Sunstate blockers to split those two Victoria blockers. It's those two points. She wants those two points, Nikki. Our beautiful Stepford Knife from Sunstate Roller Girls also watching from DNA. Not able to be here because of weddings. How dare our friends book things on Roller Derby Nights. I have to give a big call out for my Jojo. She's on my team. <laughs> Mark's discussing quite vigorously with the uh, the refs. And Hula will let us know in a minute. We'll wait for our Hula Tula to fill us in. I think so. I presume I saw the uh, the pivot panty come flying off. So I'm, I'm presuming something about the pivot. <laughs> We've got a whole heap of chop, 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 chopping going on. But actually, the whole arena is chop -a chopping. <laughs> the whole oh, arena. Oh, you should see this. in a chop chop. Waiting for this timeout. Choppers is actually a PT and a chef in real life. And uh, some more points being added on to the SSRG totals.
there we go. So we just heard from our roaming uh, commentator that the timeout being called, uh, both teams actually arguing the amount of points that were called on the board. Choppers has got lead. Chop Chop takes the lead. Kitty stuck in that pack. Kitty Von Crusher is uh, trying to get past. She has. Chop Chop makes her way through again. Oh, she's oh. out. Cookie just knocked. Cookie Cutter uh, with just blocks Kitty decapitate out. We only have a minute and a half on the clock as Sunset just slowly chip away at that score difference. And the time, the clock hasn't stopped, Nikki. Exactly. What a game we have witnessed tonight. Here we go. Awesome, awesome roller derby. We've got one, maybe two jams left, Nikki. Slow pack. Oh. Rose has got to finish the game. Rose ruined through. Maza out there again. The one woman blocking Brid team. Skate push stuck. Oh, oh slaughter up. daughter. Slaughter daughter on the floor. There's got to be one more jam, Nikki. One more jam. Can we do a 30 point jam? Well, we've seen Lady Killer pull a 35 point jam at home, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. What a game! Swish, Caraboom, an amazing jammer for Victoria against uh, Christy Demon down there for Sun State. It looks like the blockers pulling themselves straight in front of the blockers. And swish straight through. Oh. The last Here we go. of the game. Just as exciting as the rest. Swish to get past Lady. Easy yeah. And she falls. Oh. Well done to Victoria and Roller Derby League for an amazing game. And of course, as president of the Sun State Roller Girls, I am more than proud of our skaters. That was an amazing game. I'm was very proud game. of everyone. Amazing. And there are some really smart, strategic plays amazing. out there. Amazing. And um, Victoria have certainly stepped up the mark um, since the last time we met. And it's just going to uh, give us that drive and that fire in our um, bellies to get out there and uh, yeah. I can't wait for us to meet the on the track game. next time. <laughs> the Hopefully, next um, game. Victoria will extend an invite for us to head down uh, to the cold state again uh, sometime. We love these girls and uh, I guess it's on to the after party now. After party? Oh, well. Our after parties are quite renowned. <laughs> At the Great Southern Slam, the after party was huge. Massive, huge. Thank you so much for tuning in to DNN and of course a massive shout out for the DNN crew for hosting us. It was uh, quite an honour to be the first commentators uh, in a, for an intra league game in Australia. I'm Nikki Knockout and I'm Ajax. We're signing out and heading to the after party. See you guys.